So let us start with the next sum. This sum is also important. Here we have a square as the variable. Here we have b square, here we have bc, here we have c square. So if we take all these terms together, we can form a minus b the whole square or a plus b the whole square as this one is 5 square and into a square. So let us try to make it. So here this 25 a square can be written as 5 square into a square that is 5 a the whole square. Now if we take this minus common then this 4 b square will be there here and here plus we have here we have taken minus common so this will be minus 28 b c and this one we have taken minus common and this is also minus so it will sign will change so it will become plus. So here 49 c square right as it is. So we have 5 a the whole square right as it is. Here 4 b square 4 can be written as 2 square so 2 square b square you can write it as 2 b the whole square minus we have 28 bc we will be writing this afterwards here we have 49 49 is 7 square and c square 7 c the whole square now if we look at this this is a square minus something plus b square so let us fill this gap with 2 a b so here 2 into a is 2 b into c is 7 c so if we just calculate it we are getting here it is 28 bc so our assumption is correct so we can write this as 5 a the whole square as it is minus this one is a square minus 2 a b plus b square that can be written as a minus b the whole square but here a is 2 b and b is 7 c so 2 b minus 7 c the whole square now if we look at this particular expression given we can compare it with the expression a square minus b square so we now comparing this given expression with the identity a square minus b square here a is 5 a and b is 2 b minus 7 c so first we will write a plus b that is 5 a is the a plus b that is 2 b minus 7 c is the b here multiplied by a that is 5 a now minus b and here b is 2 b minus 7 c so so this is our final answer